evaluating the second formula now here we are having i integration is equal to dx upon square root of x square minus a square okay now let x is equal to a secant theta now differentiating with respect to theta we are having dx is equal to a secant theta tan theta d theta now putting the values in the question we are having integration of a secant theta tan theta d theta upon x square a square secant square theta minus a square okay so now this becomes integration of a secant theta tan theta d theta upon a square secant square theta minus 1 is it clear so now this becomes integration of a secant theta tan theta d theta upon a tan theta secant square theta minus 1 is tan square theta and now we are left with secant theta d theta one thing now integration for secant theta d theta log mod of secant theta plus tan theta plus c1 okay let it be c1 log integration for secant theta is log secant theta plus tan theta plus c1 now we have to reduce the question in this format isn't it so now our question becomes <coughs> log mod of secant theta plus now tan theta can we write tan theta as under the root secant square theta minus 1 plus c1 now we have taken x is equal to a secant theta a secant theta is equal to x secant theta is equal to x upon a ok so now let us put this value now we are having log mod of x upon a plus under the root secant square theta now x square upon a square minus 1 plus c1 now what this becomes now this becomes log x plus x square minus a square upon a plus c1 now using the rules for logarithm what we are can write it now can we write like this log x plus under the root x square minus a square minus log plus c1 is it clear so finally what we are having log x plus under the root x square minus a square plus c ok log a is a constant term so we have merged it where c is equal to c1 minus log mod a ok and the formula was log x plus x square minus a square plus c proved so like this we can easily prove this question